Alrighty, welcome back. Had fun yesterday, had fun yesterday. The wood is beautiful. The wood, wood is absolutely beautiful. I enjoy it. I like, I like the art in it. When we go to put it inside the card, it'll, it'll look handmade. You know, it's just, it's gorgeous. Love it. Uh, Jeff Webster is the guy who did the wood. If you want to look him up, look him up. Uh, right now, we have got the quarter panel on. We've got the rocker panel on. I've got Ambitious. Yesterday, after that, I put the fender piece on. And I put that on because I know we have one on the other side. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. So we'll show you how we did it. I do it my way. And if you like it, you can take it. If you don't, you can do it your way too. There's more than one way to skin a cat, always. This is the piece of the fender that I cut out. Did it by cardboard, cut that out. And uh, then I got a cardboard piece, made a pattern. This is the piece that goes on the bottom that the fender bolts to the inside fill. We have the inside sill. We have the inside sill because I put it there. I've welded along the fender here. I've lapped it over there and I've lapped it on that uh, edge there because it was good. The one on the quarter panel was not good. That's why I didn't do it. I put an edge in here. I put a 90 on this. And the way I got this fender to go nice and round is I used the shrinker because I put it on that lip and I shrunk the metal. And if I'm going to shrink the metal, that brings it together. If you're going to stretch it, it pulls it apart. So what I've done is I put a 90 on the pattern. So I made a, I'll show you, but piece of cardboard, made a 90 on it with the brake. Took it in there to the shrinker, made it round or made it this shape until it fit, and then uh, that that that's that's it in a handbag. So the bottom of the car on this side, I would say, is complete for me. There's a little bit of work inside the wheel well. That might happen after we take the get both sides done. I'll take both wheels off and I might plunk a piece in there to make fix that. But this is the quarter panel that we put on. That's the piece that I got ground out and finished for the lip. Everything went well. I'm happy with it. Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. What I'm going to try to do is I got just I got a little bit more. I should have welded that probably, but I still can. Um, I've got this floor pretty well completed on this side. We're going to go to the other side. I couldn't help myself. Once I did once I did the quarter panel, I had to do the fender. Once I did the floor, I had to do the rocker. <laughs> that's how it goes, Jim. But anyways, I'm having fun doing it, so that's why I'm doing it. I'm just going to continue on. But right now, today, I'm going to go around to the other side. And what I have is, is I have the exact same stuff as I had on the other side. I have a, a, a rocker that does not fit, that wasn't wide enough. I have a, a piece of metal that I cut yesterday. I cut it in half for the, for the quarter on that side. I have the square tubing that I run all along on the inside. And what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to... Right now, I'm going to try to put the, the rocker and the quarter on as one. I'm, I'm going to build it. Like I told Jolene, we were sitting down there in the deck, and she said, what are you going to do? And I said, she goes, you're going to make it 3D. And I guess, yes, I'm going to make it 3D. I'm going to put the piece of metal, the square tubing down. I'm going to put the rocker on it. I'm going to put the quarter on it. And then I'm going to shove it onto the car and, make it, and hope it fits. Uh, we did the exact same thing on the other side. I did try that on. We got about the same distance. <clears throat> if I can get that on... If I can get that on today, well, that means that I could probably continue on a little bit, finish welding it up, if I get the, the rocker and the quarter on, and then on the next day or so, I can show how I did the fender, and then we can go from there. I can make this piece, and then we can call Jim's card complete. It is the happiness will be at its most on Friday, if you know what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm going to do. So that's what I'm going to do right now for a video. We've also, this morning, John was here this morning, helped us out a little bit, helped us out a lot, actually. Got some stuff moved, got the big drill pest moved, got the shear moved, got in the building. That we're trying to gear up for some cars. I got the 40 Ford there. Uh, it's inspi that inspired me. Ross, Ross Galiski inspired me because he was told the little story about the car named the Tramp. Well, I want to make my own little Tramp. And uh, he's down and out for a little bit, and I think it would, you know, give him something good to watch. But what I think I'm going to do, this is what I think I'm going to do, my plan. I'm going to take that 40. It's sitting on a Caprice chassis. Chassis, you want to take a look at it? It's pretty windy. Pretty sitting. windy outside? Yeah, I don't know. It's sitting on a Chev chassis, and it looks like the frame is wider than the car is. It obviously is. Um, to me, I'm not, I don't want to do that. Like, I'm going to go a different direction. So what you see on the, on the, 
on the cement right before your very eyes, you want to change to the frame there, sweetheart. We got the frame on the ground here in the front. And that frame's out of a 1934 Hup Mobile. Uh, we did the giveaway car for the first season giveaway car, and no one won it. So you know what happened to that car. <laughs> no one won it. You know what happened to that car. Um, we had to make a different frame for that because it was a different car altogether. Uh, we made a, a roadster that maybe a king would drive. But anyways, we still have the frame out of the four-door. The four-doors over there in the, in the wood still. I did not junk any. I kept every piece of it. Well, not every piece. But that's the frame, and I'm going to make that frame go underneath that 40. It's a good-looking frame. It looks like a sort of a Ford frame. But what I want to do is I'm going to make a floor like I made for Jim here. I'm just going to, I'm going to take it one step further and show you how, how I'd make a frame for that floor, or the a floor for that frame, sorry. A floor for that frame and how I can put panels on it how I can put the inner fenders on it, and how I can take that forward body and chop the whole floor out of it and set it down on that frame and let it set wherever I want. And uh, I'm gonna, that's what I think what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call it the Tramp 2. All right, so this is what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to make this in one quarter, one rocker and sill at the same time. I'm getting tongue-tied a lot, baby. Frame, floor, all the same, starting with all the same thing, F. Ford, fat fendered Ford. So what I'll do is I'll show how we'll do that, because this, kind of, this is fun to me. I like doing this sort of stuff. Yes, I do. All right, get focused, Chetty. All right. Here's the, I'm not focused already, I can tell you that. What I'm gonna try to do is make it on the floor and then put it on. And I'm gonna make it first. Then I'm gonna cut everything off so I can put it on. All right, we had a little end there that was bent. I'm not ready, sweetheart. I'm gonna take a run to the other building for a second. You wanna go around the Hotmobile or the 40 Ford? I have two over here. What I plan on doing when I make the floor on that frame, I plan on shoving that floor up inside that 40 far enough that I take all the rust off the bottom. So I'm gonna section it really hard. I think I'm gonna take six to eight inches off the bottom of it. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Just for me and you. I'm gonna flop this end over like I did on the other one. And what I mean by flop it over, just break the edge with the, with the pliers here. These are nothing special. These are just a little wider nose plier. And I'm gonna flop the edge over like we did on the other side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to recall everything I did on the other side, but try to make it as one piece and then put it on. Ouch, got me all ready. That's where blood, sweat, and tears come in. Isn't it? That's where blood, sweat, and tears come from. And that end, that end there, it's just folded over. So when you go to cap that, you got some meat to cap it too. Some meat to cap it too. Got that bent over now. I want to cut that off. Do, 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 do. Okay. Nothing more than happens gonna happen with that one other than clean the bottom of it off. Go on the other side, check what, how length of that was, because I'm going to do both the same. 
And that's just doing the square tubing. That's just doing the square tubing. See what, how long it is. Sixty-seven. I didn't spend much time at that because it's not, you know, anything that's, that's 67 and a half, 67 and a quarter. Does not matter. There we go. on there like that put it right down there like that just like on the other side put it on nice and we'll do the exact same with this I have to make the back quarter piece what I have to do is make this the same on the bottom marker on me why am I damn it I'll go with this one I guess I have to make this same lip here. Five eight. I leave one end up on this generally because it'll slide in. You just you have to use one end to clamp it down. Works some of the times, not all the time. We want a 90. I think we do. Looks good to me. A little bit, you know what I mean? It's going to go over top a little bit, so we're going to be a little bit longer. And also, I noticed, look, original, here's where it's original. See where it flops over top? It would probably have something there, lead or something to cover it, but it does flop over top. And there's a flanging tool that you can make do that. There is. the same no nope, marked it on the wrong side can't flop it over that way but I can transfer it this way though where that thing comes in where it's I don't like doing it this way either but let's see if I can get that all the way in there yeah that works that worked it's going right isn't it yeah Love it. Now that's a 90 going down. And what I'm going for is I'm going for this and it's not, and it's not a 90. Loves me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put a little shape in this. Now I'm gonna put a shape, shape in this. I'm just gonna do it right here. 
just pulling up on it easy. I mean, let's face it, just trying to bend it slightly. Don't want to put creases, don't, I don't want to put creases in it. No, nope, not at all. That was from there from before. I noticed I should straighten it out. Just getting a little, trying to do a little quicker instead of going in there and doing that. I can pry up on it right here. Now if I go to find that, better put it back. Beautiful. Let's tack it on. Turn the welder on. So basically, again, I'm trying to put the rocker on and the quarter at the same time. At the same time. Because I know how I put it on the other side. I have that square tubing uh, down at the bottom. I know I flushed it off with that. Then we pull the inside sill, which is already on there. We pull that all in, then we tri trim off the, over the overhang. Now I'm just trying to do it this way to make it quicker, so I can see if I can put it, see if I can put it all on one piece. That's all I'm trying to do it for. Uh, on the other side, I know where I started the the sill, and I'm going to do the exact same thing here. And I'm going to run it all along. Should check and see if this is straight first. like an arrow. Like an arrow. And this is a good way to straighten something out. Like if you're, you know, put a piece, if you're trying to make, I don't know, anything straight, take something that is straight and clamp it to what you're doing and then nail it. Ha! Nail it. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to set that on there, and I'm going to weld it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run down here a little ways and make sure that we're doing the same all the way down and that way there. Beautiful. This is much easier than getting underneath that car and welding that on. Much, much, much easier. Much easier. And I guess, like, you know, the factory way, the factory way would be to, that's in there. That's good. the factory way would be to drill holes in that and then apply it on that way. That would be a factory way. We're not doing, we're not doing a factory way, we're doing a Hilt's Auto Co. way. You know, basically it. I'm making something work that probably didn't. Nice finished edge on this side and grind them off nice. You know we're, we're in control when that's going on. Don't know how far I'm going to go over. I don't really know. Don't really know, but what I am, what I do know is, I'm going to put this on. <laughs> I'm going to stick this one on, and then I'm going to go back and play with that one. And that right there, basically, is the end of the story. <laughs> Yo!
Woo! Get my gloves on, Hilti. And that just goes on like so. I'll do the exact same distance. Just do the exact same distance my thing. Ouch. That's still hot, Chetty. Still hot, bye. Still hot, bye. Just free flowing it right here, right now. Fits nice along there. Nothing that a hammer can't fix. And that should pretty well tell me that I'm pretty well in place. We're going to flop it over. Now I can tell. I got a little bit hanging on that side, so I'm just going to make a little bit hang on this side. And then I'm going to cut it off. I'll shave that off. Same distance for front to back. Hammer. on the other side. I just took the information that I got and transferred to the other side. Make a nice edge.
you've got to admit, this is a nice way to weld the sew on. Mm. <laughs> Instead of going down on the ground and getting on my back. And... Hold on a little bit. I'm going to have to after this. Because I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to run there and put this piece, well, this square tubing, to that piece underneath there. And I have to cut that off. And I'll do the exact same thing. I'll touch it. I'll weld it in a couple places hold it tight. Then I'll go along, cut it all off. And then I'll vice grip it all the way along here, and then I'll do the exact same weld here. I'm doing here, and I'll do it on the other side. On the other side here, like I put the metal in, this is the inside silk coming here, and I'll do the exact same tack over here. Piece of piss. Alrighty. 
still in the wind there. Now we're going back to cutting. Going back to cutting. Still here. See what happens. That now, would you? All right. Yeah, we're just gonna go like this for a second. Cannot shut the door yet. Cannot shut the door yet. Maybe that'll help. I shut the door. What I have to see is the gap on the bottom. We're not fitting on the bottom yet. Not even close. Could have been a mistake, I don't know. But we'll soon find out, won't we, baby? Huh? We'll soon find out. Got to go up there and stay right in. And why won't that fit right there, I wonder? <laughs> that too. See what I'm saying there? Look, right front of the door, look. It's not fitting, is it? No. Not even close, like it's just not. And it's laying right on where it was before. <laughs> so what's going to happen is... Has the door dropped? No, 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 the door fits at the top. Watch. We better stop that right now. <laughs> what's going on is, when we shut that door, look how far the door is up on the quarter panel. Yeah, it's good. When I shut the door, it fits good. The okay. cone fits good, everything. And it does not fit here down at the bottom of the sill and the bottom of the door. <clears throat> so what's going to go on is we're going to make it fit. You know, it didn't, it must not have fit before. Like, someone, because if you want to come take a look here, come take a look here, and it does not mean anything, it does not fit. Like, I mean, like, it's sitting, we're sitting right down on where it was before. We're sitting right down. Oh, there's a, it's the tear in the story, Jim. A piece right there, it's sitting right on the head of that. Oh, sorry. And I, and I can't see, I'm going to shut Probably should have sprayed some crown on that door for we. Now, we are not. Down far enough. We need to go down by hmm, quarter of an inch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that front to fit and then tack it, and we'll go from there. And it's not fitting right now. What am I going to split that? We're just getting on the door now, so we get again. We got to go down quite a ways, and then that fender does not even look right at well. It does not matter. We're going to make it look right. We're going to fix the fender. <laughs> so what's going on here? Is I have to let that get this down further right here, and that little spot right there is holding me up. I'm going to take this off. Straighten her up a bit. 
This is what we're going to do. My knee pads were going. Did you hear that? <laughs> what? Did you, did you hear that, sexy lady? No. Sparkles? Oh, Sparkles. She sparkled this morning. <laughs> she doesn't wake up at 10. She looks like a 10. Come on, people. Get a grip. <laughs> this end adjusted here. If we have a problem with it after, we'll deal with it again. We'll deal with it, right? But I want to get this gap up front. We never had it before, and I want it to have a good gap. Closer, probably. A little bit down for the maybe. Oh, I can do that. That's no problem. I'm going to try to leave that like that. Go near side and tap that. That's good there. Tell me it's true. It didn't move. It didn't move. We're good. Alrighty. And then we're going to close this. Not going bad, actually. Not going bad. And the reason I want it to do like that, because we're over on this side, it's hard to get back and take a look at it. Also, I think it's more efficient for me to do it this way. Uh, we get a nice straighter line, I think. We're just as straight. And basically, we're doing two jobs with one, with being creative, creative with what happened on the other side. That's basically the, what's going on. Just being creative, what happened on the other side. Taking it to a little quicker level. Sometimes it's nicer that everything is cut out because you get to do it your way. And when, when I get a chance to go at that 40 and put a floor in it, <coughs> I'll get to do it my way. You know, you know what I'm saying? Too, I guess it's too long, but that, it's a nice panel. We get that up there. 
fairly good. I'm going to cut this off because I think we should make it look a little better because I'm going to comb too far. And I'm going to pull the boot. I want this to look straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it down and mark it and cut it. To get to this cop top this quarter, we're going to go five. Five inches here. We are Bill doing this for Jim. This is Jim's car. He wants to drive it around the field. He's had it for 20 some years. Uh, we want to put a floor in it. He's probably had it way more than 20 years. We want to put a floor in it, so we put a floor in it. We put the rock. We put the floor in it, and what happened was we you just had to continue on to put the rockers on, to put the silver quarter panels on, to put the fenders on, because it did not look complete, and uh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> when you do it. If you went on the other side, you'll see that I've ground it flush to this piece of metal and I've left the edge on, on, the, on the quarter panel. So that means that you'd have an eighteenth of filler to cover it. Um, I did not warp it all up. But the nice thing is if you're going to butt weld this, you have to realize when you butt weld it, there's all kinds of shit inside that you have to deal with. don't like doing that. I find it inside here. I'd, I'd rather lap weld it here because you can't see it inside because of the, of, the, of the door skin. You can't see it inside with the door carried on. Same with the door. Let's face it, you want to butt weld it out the edge here, try to get that fix, fixed right, because that's how thick your door is on your front and your back, most certainly, yes. Um, but on something like this, straighten it off, get her on there, make her look good. Alrighty, I'm going to clean this up around this edge here a little bit. I'm glad the door fit good, because it shut good. <laughs> Filler on it and be done in a hurry. 
it's out. And that's basically what you want, what you're going for. If you're restoring a car, it's totally different. When you're restoring a car, you're looking for spot welds and that sort of stuff, and how tight things fit. And, you know, you'd want all the spot welds on the bottom. I'm sure you would. But we were doing something like this, get on with it. Right? And the reason I'm doing this to Jim's car is I would, I would have no fear doing it to my car. No, I wouldn't. If you haven't got the doors on, there's not a chance. I've got this place with the doors off. Not a chance. Not a chance. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to nail it down here to make it stay. That's what I thought. What's going to happen is I pull that down and I can attach it on the inside sill and I know it'll stay. Right? You got it, Pony, eh? should be, believe it or not, if you look on the gap of the door, it should be a little bit narrower or a little bit whatever, it's wider on one end, because the water's got to run one way or the other, right? Let's face it, got to run one way or the other, one degrees, two degrees. Right 
Sums up, sometimes I will build up weld. You heard me? Build up weld for to grind it. You know? Yeah, I, I build up yeah, build up weld to grind it. And that's basically the end of it. Sometimes I build up weld to grind it. We're going good there. We're a little bit. I'm gonna pack, pack that up with my hammer. Still in there because it's just the end. Put it in there a little bit so it meets that door a little better. We're looking good. I'm going to tack it here in the middle. Because it's tight. Always like to do the center if I can. The center first, and it works out good. And then if you get a, a bubble or anything like anything that's acting funny, you can gently run it, run it out on either end. So if you're doing anything, you can stretch it out to either end. Got to be careful not to shove the panel in too far. We don't want to ruin it. We just want to weld it. Don't want to warp it. Just want to put it on. Let that, one, let that one go too early. Shouldn't let go before it gets, before it's a, the red leaves. Shouldn't let it go. <laughs> Stop it. Just pushing that in so it's tight. I'm going to go to weld it. On the other side, I had this piece, I had to put that piece in, I made it a 90 and then made it fit. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so it didn't come up here and fit nice at the top. So what I did is I just took a little bit of weld, a little bit of coat hanger, stuffed it up in there when I ground it off, I ground it off flush and it looked like it met perfectly. And that's the tricks of the trade, you know. Tricks of the trade. You know how to make the line better if you want. You just split it. Here's your door, quarter, your sill. Pack go along, pluck it all underneath here. You might as well draw this on. We'll just do it the same as the other side. We'll just do a, a 
come back a little bit. It did. We'll try that for now. See what happens. It's funny how I had to change the front up there a little bit, but that's what had to happen, and that's what I did. Don't be scared, don't be scared to do what you got to do to make it work. Don't be scared of that. I knocked that off a little bit. thinking that it's not going to hurt it any when I'm putting the heat to it. I'm thinking it's not going to hurt it any. The reason because it's in a place where like that's in a place where all the heat would go up here and it's all kind of there's nothing really to warp too much unless unless I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to do this. I'm going to tack this here. Push her down. Laid in there fairly nice. Oh, got the mic caught. Sorry, sweetheart. And I'm just going to put it in between these ones. Someone said something about the wires. Yeah, I'm figuring he can run the wires in some tape or along there somewhere. Yeah, that channel was for the wires, but we get rid of that. It is rotten. I don't think that you could do anything with that. Put I don't know anything there to hold the wires. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. All right, we'll get this part done.
It got me. It got me. Didn't get that though, did I? I don't like pounding on things too much, but let's face it. Got it. It's got to be tight. A lot of that, if I have any problems, I just, you know what I do? Run to my coat hanger. I run to my coat hanger. Buddy Archie Costner called me today. That was funny. It's good. Good talk to him. Wanna, baby? Good talk to him. I'm gonna put one in between here, and then we're gonna go to commercial. See me welding that. That's great. What I would do if I'm really working, I'm working at this car. I'll shut the door and I go tack 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 all on the quarter panel. Tack 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 all on the bottom. Then I'll come back up here tack 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 and try to keep that heat down, you know. But uh, basically, we've put a a uh, a sill on and partial quarter. And how long? An hour. Gain some time on that one, boys. Gain some time on that one. That was just a matter of using what I did on the other side to do, 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 to, to, to do it on this side. So when you come back, and that will be tomorrow, hopefully, when you come back tomorrow, I'll probably end up doing a little welding, trying to get ahead on this part, because there, there's no need to even watch me to weld it. But the, what I have to tell you why I'm welding it, what I have to tell you is, is that I don't just weld the quarter panel up. No, I don't do that. I weld along the sill go down along the bottom here and pack that all up, go back the quarter and pack, just tacks. Then I go back on the sill and run my heat in there, and then we call it fair. I'm not, I'm not, uh, fair. I think that looks really good. Um, first time that car has probably had a sill on it in 20 to 30 years, I'm not sure. But what's going to happen now on the bottom, like we did on the other side, we know we got to run it straight because we got that spare tubing that's making it straight. And if you want to come over to the other side, I'll have to make this piece. If you see me make that piece, that's not much. I didn't think, anyways. Come on over this side. Please and thank you. You can see when you run that camera down the side of that thing. You, if you stand back there and show that angle. That, that is not all warped to pieces, not even a little bit. I did not hammer it. I did not bang it. did not smash it. Same with the front fender. Did not smash it. The hammer work is not really needed on auto body panels. It's not really needed. A hammer is really not needed unless you're shaping something that has compound curves. If you're trying to put some shape in it, yes, you bang it around a little bit and then you try to wheel it out so it has no hammer marks in it. But stuff like this, a gentle roll like that, and a bend here and a bend there, and a butt weld with a 90 on, you can make some wonderful things. Let's give away a hat or a shirt, baby! I'm happy with that. So, <coughs> in natural fact, we'll go along and continue that. Do a little bit of marking on that. We'll, we'll do the front fender for you. You come back tomorrow and uh, see where we're at. Hopefully we'll do the front fender. You've never seen that one yet? But that's a simple panel to me. I look at that panel, I see a very simple thing. I'll put it with a piece of cardboard, uh, make it up to where I, it's okay. You know, um, This line here looks all right. It's got a bit of filler on the stuff, but I'll cut it out, make a 90 on here. 
I'll shrink it, give it that nice round shape, we'll weld it in, make it a nice piece. We can redecorate it up. You finish it. <laughs> Alrighty. Thanks for coming, thanks for watching, thanks for all the comments. Uh, I hope I can keep you entertained and keep rocking and rolling. I like doing this sort of stuff. Um, I, I really want to take and make it floor and show you how I make floors and slide them into cars. I want to show you how I do that. And uh, one thing you can say about Bad Chad Customs on the old Discovery Channel is that we built the cars because I'm proving it to you. And uh, that's one thing that I want to do is just to let everybody know that has, has ever watched the show that we build the cars. You know, we build the cars. The shop doesn't build them. We do. Um, we don't send them anywhere. We don't send them to get painted. We don't send them to get filled. We do not anything. We do it all. Don't we, baby? Yep. Woo woo! That looks good. Old Jim will be happy that. I'll have to clean that sill off, though, and get the rust off it. Maybe he'll like it that way. I think he'll like it that way. He's gonna like it just even having that sill on there because he's never seen that on there before. If you know, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. that's always been bit off. Here we go. 687 comments. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. We appreciate you taking your time to watch us. And the only thing we're doing is trying to do the best we can, as fast as we can. And you can take whatever you want to take from it. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it. You, you do whatever you want to do. And that's one good thing about building cars. You get to do what you want to do. Nacho Perez, Perez? Nacho Perez, looking very badass, bad Chad. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I see that you have an Indian as your uh, picture there. What's that called? Your, what, no, what's that called? Uh, when you put that up, everybody says it's called their profile picture. Profile picture. Sorry, Sophia. Here. Your profile picture is an Indian. Uh, it makes it reminds me of the day when I was a grade four student um, in elementary school. They had a competition to the school was going for what? Look, what can I say? It was going for a new logo, and uh, I drew the logo and won. A grade four student. I drew an Indian head just like that. It's on the front of my garage. That's I used to draw it for the arena and put it in the middle of the ice, but that's what I drew. I drew an Indian head because it, that's what I liked. Uh, we lived close to Blomidon, and uh, yeah, that's what went on. I won a grade four student. I remember it was there for years. It was on everybody's port card for years, and then uh, they come up with a new one. It wasn't as good as mine. <laughs> they come up with a new one, and then they come up with another new one. And I, yeah. But anyways, um, that was a good memory for me. And thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for the good comment. You can do it. I can do it. <laughs>